Some fossil lemurs, however, became much larger. Ground lemurs uh, could reach a body length of about five feet and had a much modified skull compared to a ringtail lemur. Other lemurs would be much smaller than the ring-tailed lemur. Mouse lemurs are among the smallest mammals that exist, able to fit in the palm of your hand. Notice that the changes needed to convert the skull of a ring-tailed lemur to that of an old-world monkey are far less than those needed to convert uh, a ring-tailed lemur to the giant uh, ground lemurs or the mouse lemurs. A great deal of variation exists in the skulls of New World monkeys. Compared to a Sebid monkey, for example, marmosets have much smaller skulls with essentially no face. The eyes and jaws are very far forward, but the brain case is much expanded posteriorly. Compared to a Sebid monkey, howler monkeys have much larger skulls whose uh, brain case has been elevated and rotated and whose lower jaw is simply enormous compared to the proportions of the rest of the skull. Compared to Sebid monkeys, owl monkeys have very delicate skulls, much thinner jaws, a much less robust skull in general, but the eyes have expanded enormously so that they could adapt to nocturnal life. The orbits are simply enormous. Egyptopithecus, the first catarine prim primate known in the fossil record, is not that different from a vervet monkey, a modern old world monkey. Not much variation would be required to convert the skull of Egyptopithecus into that of a vervet. There is, however, enormous skull variation in the old world monkeys. Compare the variation which would be needed to change uh, the skull of this vervet monkey into the skull of a baboon with its very elongated snout. Mandrills are also old world monkeys which have separately evolved elongated snouts, huge canines, and a modified brain case. The skull of a gibbon is not that different from the skull of an old world monkey such as a vervet monkey. Note that the changes needed to convert the skull of a vervet monkey to that of a gibbon is far less than that needed to convert a vervet into other old world monkeys such as a baboon or a mandrill. There have been great modifications of the skull shape within apes as well. Consider here the difference between a gibbon, the smallest and most primitive ape, and orangutans. Notice the great height of the orangutan skull and also the degree to which the snout protrudes.